This uh, business of assigning priorities um, can also be used for addressing the configuration about a, um, a double bond. The cis-trans nomenclature that we learned can be ambiguous sometimes. Um, if we look at these, at this molecule, um, here we have four different groups um, attached to these doubly bonded carbons. How do we decide there's no two that are the same. Before we looked, if there were two the same and they were on the same side, it was cis. If they were on opposite sides, it was trans. But a molecule like this, we can't decide. And this one as well. There are not two identical groups anywhere. And so then we're going to use these rules for assigning priority um, to decide how to look at that. And instead of calling them cis and trans, we're going to use um, E and Z. E is for the German word entgengen. <laughs> entgengen. It's been a long time since that one year of college German. Entgengen. Um, which means opposite. And Z uh, for the German zusammen, meaning together. So Z is the equivalent of cis and E is the equivalent of trans. So let's look at these guys um, and assign priority and then look and see, is it E or Z? Well, we've got, we've got halogens. Which one is the largest? Bromine, iodine, chlorine, or fluorine? We have a periodic table up here. It's iodine. So iodine is number one. And bromine is the next smallest, so that's number two. And chlorine is number three, and fluorine is number four. So we're going to look at the two higher priority groups. So we're going to look at one and two. No, that's not what we're going to do. Um, it's not real clear until we do the example. We're going to look at the highest priority on this carbon and the higher priority on that carbon. And so on, on this carbon, number one is the higher of one and two. And then on this carbon, three is the higher of three and four. And so then we see that those are on the same side. And so together is to sum it. So this would be the Z configuration. <laughs> That's a very good, wait, what? What on earth? Yeah. Sometimes some of these topics I just dread springing on you. But you got the priority thing, right? Okay, so we're assigning priority. And then we're going to look at this carbon on the right. And we're going to identify which of its two groups have the higher priority. Just comparing the ones for this carbon. And that would be number one, right? And then we're going to look at the other carbon and say which of its groups are higher. It would be number three. So we're going to, on each carbon, we're going to choose the higher of the two. Okay? Yeah, we would have to say Z um, instead of cis. Um, and then let's do this one. Again, let's assign priorities. We've got bromine, chlorine, carbon, and carbon. Which gets the highest priority? Chlorine. Well, periodic table, chlorine or bromine? Bromine's number one, chlorine's number two. And then comparing these, we've got methyl and ethyl. And this is going to be larger. When we go to the next atom, we've got a carbon, and here we've got hydrogens. So this is going to be number three, and that one's going to be number four. So then we're going to look at the higher of the two on the one carbon and the higher of the two on the other carbon. So here, three and four, three wins. So we're going to compare this guy and number one. And here we see they're on opposite sides. And so this is the E configuration. So doing some examples. Um, 
Yeah, this is just showing what we just talked about and then showing how you would name them. Um, we would call this carbon number one because bromine comes first in the alphabet. It's ethene. So we get one bromo, two chloro, two fluoro, one iodoethene. And to specify that it is that cis version, that these higher priority groups are on the same side, we put Z, capital Z, in parentheses before the whole thing. And this is E because these higher priority groups are opposite of each other. So let's write the structure for E13-hexadiene. So hexadiene, how many carbons are in that? Six. Six. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. One, three, and there's diene. This has two double bonds, right? One double bond starts at the number one carbon, and one starts at the third carbon. And then we're going to put hydrogens all over the place. So we're supposed to do E. E means opposite. So this double bond, do we have to worry about that first one? Is there a cis or trans version of that? Look at the groups attached to this carbon. They're the same, aren't they? And so there's no cis or trans, there's no stereoisomer around this carbon. But around this carbon there is, because on this side we have two carbons with single bonds, and on this side we have two carbons with a double bond. Each of these guys has a hydrogen. So in terms of priority, this, we're, we're going to be looking at this guy right here. Let's circle him. We're looking at, at, at this bond in here. And we've got hydrogen and hydrogen, and then we've got this ethyl group. And then we've got this guy over here. So obviously the hydrogens are going to be the lower of the priority, right? They're going to tie for the lowest. And since there's one hydrogen on this guy and one hydrogen on that guy, that means that these guys must be the higher priority. Let's make them blue. So this is the higher priority group on that side, and this is the higher priority group on that side. And so we need them to be opposite. Now we did not draw this super clearly, but are they, are they opposite as they're drawn? You see that the hydrogens here are together on the same side of that double bond? Let's draw it a little better. So, drawing with my finger today, which is just not ideal. I'm going to condense these guys a little bit. So there, there's the ethyl group right here, and the hydrogen, and here's this double bond that we're interested in, and it's going to have two groups, and we need these, um, we need these big guys to be on opposite sides for E. So we're going to have CH here in the double bond and the CH2. I'm going to put the H over here. That makes sense? Remembering E and Z, I mean, that just seems to me that that would be 
Because I, I, I'm guessing none of you have studied German. Anybody? No. So zusammen doesn't help you at all, does it? How about E and opposite both start with a vowel? And Z and together both start with a consonant. It's better than randomness. So any questions about this guy? This is the answer right here, not this one. This is the opposite version. This would be Z because these hydrogens are on the same side. And for the E, we need them to be on the opposite side. The one over here that's not all messed up, this guy. That's our answer. When you're given a name like this and asked to write the structure, you're probably going to have to do some scribbling because you can't. It's really hard to just draw it out beautifully the first time and have the right orientation. Um, to butene. Well, butene is. Uh, four carbons, right? And two means that the double bond is on the second carbon. And then we've got hydrogens and hydrogens and three hydrogens out there and three hydrogens out here. We're going to look at these, the two groups on this carbon and see which is the higher priority, the H or the methyl group? The methyl group. So I'm going to circle that one. And then over here, higher priority is going to be the methyl group. Z is for together, susamin. And so we're going to put those together. And they are together there. They're just, it's not super obvious that they're together, so I'm just going to move this guy over a little bit. Put him down here. And I'll move this guy over a little bit and put him up here. Just kind of tweaking my drawing to make it a little clearer. And here we see the CH3s and the CH3 on the same side of this bond. Does that make sense? It's going to take some practice. <laughs>